This video is part of our Object Debugger tutorials. If you haven't seen the previous video and don't know what an Object Debugger is, please go to the first video linked in the description below and check it out. In this video, we will look at the different data types in VB scripting and especially how they interact with Comos. This is just to give you a brief understanding of how to use the data types and what can differ between normal VB scripting and how to use it in Comos. This is not an in-depth tutorial of how to write good code in VB script. In VB scripting, there's only one uh, variable or data type, and that is the variable. The variable is uh, made of different types of subtypes or different data types. And these subtypes is, for example, a string. We have the integer. We have the Boolean. We have the date. They are, these are maybe the most normal ones that we are interacting with and using in our day-to-day -day life, and especially if you come from the Excel world. You can also use the double or a float or a long or whatever. These are also a subtype to the variable. We have also this subtype called an object. And the object is, we can say it has a lot of properties as well. So it contains a lot of information. And in Comos, this object is used a lot. For example, an object in Comos is an engineering device. We have it as a base object and a document as well, for example. To show you this, I will take an engineering device, put it in one of the link attributes or the link fields, and just write type name and within brackets, put a C. And then we press calculate and you will see the engineering device is an object. We can also go to its base object and take and place it in its stead and just press calculate. And you still see it's an object. If we go down in the structure and find a document and place it here, we can calculate it and it's still an object. And to show you that this tool is not broken, we can just write a simple string that we use and press calculate and it will change the result to string. So all of these three objects that are different kinds of objects with different kinds of properties is still an object within a VB script. For those of us that are developing code outside Comos or in C Sharp for Comos, we know that the engineering device is actually called iComos D device. The base object is called iComos CD DC device. And the document is iComos document. These three objects or types contains of a lot of different properties. The engineering device doesn't have the same properties as a base object. And to show you that just briefly is by going here in the expression as yes, writing C where the object is and a dot. Here you will get a lot of examples of what properties this object contains of. And you can use this uh, to get some, for example, if you take the description and just press enter, you will get the description of the object, which is a property that all of these three objects has in common. But you can just put it in here and check it through and see what kind of properties this object has. And it will be different between the engineering device, the base object, and the document. This is really, really necessary to know. For example, if we have a doc object and just take it and count, 
it says it's zero dark objects. But if we take the engineering device and place it here, it cannot calculate this expression because the engineering device, device doesn't have this property on itself. So that's why it can be quite hard sometimes to know and debug why is this wrong? Why doesn't this property go along here? It's still an object. Why can't I use it like this? And that is just because the object or subtype is built up from different kinds of objects in the background and doesn't have the same properties all over. In the next part, we will go more in depth into scripting in Comos and how to use it. Uh, if you want to know more about scripting in Comos, then please contact us. You can do so by, you will find our information in the description or you can just post some comments down below and we will answer you, come back to you as fast as possible. All linked videos in this tutorial or all these tutorial videos that we have here are linked in the description below. So check that out and follow along on this tutorial.